you could just see every bone in his body. He's such a good boy. He's such a good man. He couldn't walk. He could barely lift his head when he first got there. Once we put him in his cage, he kind of laid his head down and it felt like he knew he was going to be okay. Get this to him. Good boy. Good boy. He was obviously very food motivated, so we used his food. We would put it at a certain distance. Good boy. I would physically move his legs. Oh, that one little leggy. There you go. It was those front legs that just did not want to stand. I would just have him stand there for five minutes just to build his strength back up. Come on, come on, yes! You could see that he wanted to be okay. He wanted to walk. Yes! Yay! Good job! All the way from there. I knew he was going to walk on the day off. I just knew it. I was at the nail salon and I got this video of him walking. I started crying. And we fed him four times a day for a very, very long time. I was like, today's the day, I'm going to take him out, I'm going to get him running. Yeah. And I threw the toy and he did. He ran, not like super fast, but he did. Good boy. Good boy. He romped and he played and he shook the toy and he ripped it apart. Good. And that's Good just like the best feeling. And it was at that point where somebody was interested in fostering him. I cried like the entire night when he got adopted. Kate found him on Instagram. It took him a little while to learn our routine. He was so trusting. I literally could see on his face the day he realized, wow, this is mine. He's kind of hilarious. He kind of can be like just naughty enough to not really aggravate us. You got, buddy. He lets that goofy side out. And then he also likes snuggling too. He's a big snuggler. He takes long walks on the beach. I think he's very proud of the fact that he takes care of us. We are so happy and yeah. lucky. He's such the dog for us. He's just amazing. We love yeah, him so great. much. He's great. Like, comment, and subscribe.